Hello, YouTube. Um, I just decided to make a video because I was doing something and I know that there's other videos that I have promised to make, but uh, this one is kind of important and I'm going to show you what I am doing. I am doing a cabinet QC check. Now different municipalities or agencies or whatever um, I like to call it different things but basically we're doing quality control on a signal cabinet that came in from the manufacturer. Um, this is a signal cabinet that has been ordered for me to install as a replacement for an older TS1 that we're converting to flashing yellow arrow and uh, it's it's due for replacement uh, so <clears throat> now we're putting a bright shiny new TS2 cabinet in before I even accept this thing from the manufacturer right I need to be able to test it so I set it up in the lab with all of the stuff right I've got all of my detector cards I've got my power supply I even have an Opticom card and then down here uh, I'm trying to aim there is the MMU multifunction monitoring unit and there's my signal controller and all of the load switches and even a flasher and uh, you can't see them down here oh there they are the flash transfer relays so anyway all of that stuff is wired in um, or is uh, set up here in the cabinet and then what we've done here is we've wired we mocked up an inductive loop and so that goes on the detector panel as well as an Opticom receiver and we can use a handy Optronics remote to uh, preempt the signal and we even program a basic intersection into the controller and set up a, a test program card with uh, test switches right we use these dip switches basically rather than having to sit there and solder a card you just flip a switch for every phase compatibility you want to run in the conflict monitor so anyway all of the inputs all of the outputs all of that stuff uh, that runs through the back panel so here is our 24 volt DC stuff that's driving the load switches as well as the inputs uh, from the detector panel all of the test switches right the stop time switch the controller power switch uh, the auto flash switch right and then there's a technician flash switch right and then over here is the police panels flash switch the door switches up here all of the inputs and outputs that go through this controller cabinet need to be verified that they meet our specific, uh, specifications. So like when we go out for bid for, you know, this is the cabinet that we want to have stock, we tell them exactly how we want it set up. We even tell them the numbers that we want on all of these terminal wires so that it's the same. And... Uh, I guess I would say that the most important thing is when, when you're doing something like this, you're verifying basically that the equipment meets your standards so that when you take it and you put it out in the field and something happens, um, you have to live with it, right? So uh, <clears throat> for the length of your career or for how long this signal cabinet is going to last before getting knocked down or whatever, you know that it's running how it's supposed to that uh, all the gazingas and gazoutas are touching <laughs> correctly so anyway I have a form that I fill out I even go through and I've got uh, I do a phase conflict test so I actually go and I short terminals on here and verify that the conflict monitor and the controller can catch that stuff okay I have all of these check boxes here that we verify all of this stuff and then we keep it on record as in the easiest place possible usually is we take a photocopy and we put it on file 
for the intersection, but then this guy goes right here into my drawer in my signal cabinet. So, um, so I just wanted to make that quick video so that you knew what I was doing today. I, I promise, I promise I'm going to make a TS1 video, but um, I've seen uh, people requesting videos for 332 cabinets. I've got a few. Um, they're not exactly my expertise, but uh, um, I know them. I work on them, so uh, one of these days I might do those. But uh, for the time being, hang tight. Uh, click like, subscribe, whatever if you want to keep following. But uh, otherwise, uh, keep on rocking. And I'm going to go play in the sunshine. Catch you later.